Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video with the Roshan Corruption, and today I'm going to show you the locations of three different sets of power armor that are very easy to obtain early on in Fallout 4. Okay, so the first set of power armor is going to be found here at the Museum of Freedom. And to get to the Museum of Freedom, all you need to do is go directly southeast from Vault 111 until you hit Concord. And within the vicinity of Concord will be the Museum of Freedom. And the second you arrive here, you will start a quest pertaining to the Boston Minutemen. And through that quest, you will be able to get your hands on a set of power armor. And overall, doing that is actually pretty straightforward and pretty easy. It's not too difficult, so I'm not going to talk about it too much in this video. I did cover that recently uh, in an episode of my Fallout 4 walkthrough. So if you guys want to learn more on it, I will leave a link to that video in the description. And I suggest checking that out. Uh, but the second set of power armor is a lot more difficult to find, a lot more out of the way. So I will be showing in depth and in more detail how to get that. The first thing you want to do to get the second set of power armor is you want to discover this location over here. And this location is the Corvega assembly plant. The Corvega assembly plant is, I guess, just directly southeast of, uh, of Concord and northeast of this location here, the, uh, the Jailbird Brothers Disposal. But we're going to go ahead and travel there right now. Alright, and now that we're at the Corvega power plant, what we want to do is we want to go to the back entrance of the power plant and the power armor will be found along there. I believe this is the front entrance, I could be mistaken, but regardless, you do not want to be here. You want to go to the, to the entrance all the way on this side. I'm going to avoid this water because it's probably irradiated, and radiation is much more devastating in this game than in previous games. It, it permanently, well not permanently, but uh, until, you, until you see a doctor and get your radiation healed, it reduces the maximum amount of health you, health you can have, which is not great. As you can see on the bottom screen, that, that little red bar um, is uh, how, how much my maximum health has been reduced by. But anyways, you want to come up on this broken bridge right here, and, and around this broken bridge, you'll find an elevator, and I believe that right over there is the elevator we need to go to. And this is the part that, that's very easy to miss. The only way to get up to that bridge, and, and the power armor's up there, by the way, the only way to get up to that bridge and get the power armor is through this lift. So if you miss this lift, then you won't be able to get there. I mean, when, I was first, uh, when I was first looking through this area, I walked past this lift like two or three times, so we're going to go ahead and activate it. And it will take us up here. Maybe there is another way to get uh, to get there um, through through over there, uh, coming from coming from that side. But for, for from what I've investigated, this seems to be the easiest way. And then once you take the elevator all the way here to the top of the bridge, all you need to do is take a left, go all the way down, and the suit of power armor will be right there, which is very convenient. This suit of power armor is a little bit out of the way, but you can get it very early on in the game, which gives you two sets of power armor that you can obtain pretty early. And here it is, guys. We're gonna go ahead and transfer all of this to to our uh, inventory. Finally, the third and last set of power armor that I want to show off to you guys in this video can be found right here next to this crashed vertebrate. And to get to the area I'm at right now, you pretty much want to go directly east and a little bit north of Vault 111 and Sanctuary. And if you keep going, then you will eventually reach this location. And this set of power armor can actually be found pretty early on in the game as well. I want to say you can find it actually even earlier than the uh, than the Minutemen power armor, pretty much directly the second that you get out of Vault 111. Uh, the only drawback though is that this isn't quite a full set. It's only got a torso, a helmet, and a left arm. But power armor is relatively uncommon, so it's definitely much better than uh, than nothing. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is pretty much going to do it for this video. As always, if you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for more Fallout 4 content in the future. The comment question today is what do you guys think of Power Armor and Fallout 4 so far? Me personally, I'm definitely loving it. I think it's a great addition to the game, and I think they've done a much better job uh, with it in this game than in uh, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Uh, but with that, guys, thanks again for watching, and I will see you in my next video.